Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. I missed you all. My client today wanted a Paris themed room, so I tried my best to stay within her design. And I'm gonna be creating a headboard today. If you watched my other DIY goddess headboard, this is a similar um, template of how I did that. I'm gonna be taping uh, these poster boards together and I believe I used a total of 12. I'm taping the poster boards together in rows of threes and I'm gonna make four rows of three. And as you can see, I am taping the front and the back of each board and I'm doing that to make the board more sturdy. So make sure that you are taping the front and back. Now that I have my four rows of three, I will be taping uh, all four rows together using my tape and I'm taping again the front and the back of the board. And excuse the red board, they ran out of white for some reason and I had to do what I had to do. So that's the reason why there are three red foam boards. So the design of this headboard will be abstract. So there's no um, right way to do this. All I'm doing is creating shapes, mostly triangular shapes. Um, and I'm just going around the board, uh, drawing them out. But as you can see, if I draw a line a certain way, I make sure it's parallel to another line. And that is because where those lines are, the tape will be. And this was actually really easy to do because I didn't have to think about the design. I just went with the flow. And I know I'm doing mine a specific way, but if it's easier for you to draw out the whole triangle or the whole shape and then draw another line or the shape on top of it, if that's easier, then you can do it that way. This is just the way that I did it. I connect each shape to each other. And this is how my sketch came out. It looks pretty good. Everything fit perfectly, so I have no complaints. And as you can see, I have the double lines. But if you do not care to have the silver in between each shape, you can just do one line and just put everything back together without the silver in between. Next, I'll be taking my box cutter and cutting out the shapes. And I will only be using uh, the actual shape and the extra pieces I will be throwing away. So this right here is an extra piece and I will be throwing that away. Because like I said earlier, that is where the silver will be showing through the silver um, adhesive tape and it's not tape it's a silver adhesive reflective paper but um, the way I cut it you would think it's tape and don't be discouraged this project is super easy I promise and one thing about this project is that you really can't mess up because you're drawing your own shapes, number one. And then number two, if you do mess up, you can always cover it back up with um, either the reflective mirror tape or paper, or you can add extra boards. And as you can see, the two separate pals, the pals for the shapes and the pals for the parallel pieces that I'm going to throw away. So after I finished cutting up the shapes, I went ahead and started the second board. And this is the board that I'm going to put the shapes on. And I'm making this board exactly how I made the first one earlier. A total of 12 foam boards and I'm taping them front and back. Okay y'all, so out of this whole project, this is the part that took the longest. I should have labeled these as I was cutting them, but I was able to go back and look at the pictures and videos of the original um, sketch from earlier. So that helped out a lot. It was basically like putting a puzzle together. Um, but what I would recommend is labeling each piece. And I did that after I put all the pieces where they needed to be.
And this is how the board looked once I got every piece into place. Oh, and I did remove those foam board stickers. Next, I took my marker and I traced each piece. And uh, before I put it to the side, I labeled everything. So as you can see, that says bottom right. So when I get ready to put it back on the board, I'll remember exactly where it is and the shape will be there to help me also. And after I traced the second one, I put number two, bottom two, I believe. And what helped also is that I placed them on top of each other in separate piles. So that's number three, and then I'm gonna continue to go around across the bottom of the board, and then I'm gonna work my way up the side. And by the way, I know y'all have seen some extra hands and feet around this video. I had a whole audience the whole time. They were watching my every move. They were confused as hell at first, but they trusted the process <laughs> and they liked the ending results. So that's all that matters. Also, make sure you're holding the shape as you're tracing it so it won't slide. And since this is a corner piece, I'm going to put left bottom on it. And that way I'll remember that this was on the left and on the bottom. So I just worked my way around the board, um, tracing and also I'm writing numbers. By the way, I'm going to cash out the first person that can tell me how many extra bodies besides me were in the room. I'm going to cash out you $20. The first person, not the second, not the third, but the first person. Let me know in the comments. After I'm done with my shapes, I am going to move on to my mirror reflective paper and I'm going to be cutting this into strips. I cut each strip like two inches wide and um, I just cut it as long as I could. And I really do recommend this mirrored adhesive paper. It was really long. I believe it was like 30 feet and it was good quality and I will be leaving the link in the description box below. So I'll be going over each line with this mirror adhesive paper and I'm just covering up everything, every line that I see. And this way, when I put the shapes back on, you will see the silver trim in between each shape. check out this girl over here I brought her here to help me with this project and she is on her phone she ain't right she ain't right And this is how the board looked with all the mirror adhesive paper on it. And now I'm gonna start covering the shapes to put on top. This is the fabric I'll be using to cover the shapes. And I believe it's around six to eight yards. I believe I got eight because I was scared that I was gonna run out and I hate running out of material. So I'm gonna go with eight. I got eight yards and I'm going to be covering each shape with uh, this fabric. 
So I like to cut out the shape first to make it easier and then hot glue the fabric to the back of the foam board. And this part is very easy. You just need to make sure you're being very neat when you're gluing it because you want everything to be flat and not sticking out. So I'm just giving you guys just a couple of examples of how I did cover the shapes. Um, I'm not gonna do all of them on camera because I mean, you get the point. I showed you like three different shapes um, and how I did uh, glue the fabric on them. And by the way, keep in mind as you're tracing and drawing your shapes, if you draw out or sketch out 30 shapes, you're gonna have to cut out 30 shapes you're going to have to trace 30 shapes and you're going to have to cover 30 shapes with fabric. FYI, this is a long ass project. <laughs> it wasn't long. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't long. It didn't take long to do, but I realized I cut out a bunch of shapes. Oh, by the way, shout out to Jonay Feng Shui. She helped me cut the fabric, so it did make it a lot quicker. So if you have a little buddy to help you, it will go by like nothing. Next thing I'm going to do is put the shapes back on the board. Next, I'll be placing the shapes back on the board in the places that they need to be. and labeling each board made it so much easier. Oh my gosh, it took so much less time to put them back on the board. So, so remember to label your pieces. Now I'll be going around with my hot glue gun and I'm gonna be attaching each piece to the board. And after that, we're pretty much done with the headboard. And shout out to Miss Jonay Feng Shui for helping me put this headboard on the wall. And go subscribe to her YouTube channel. Y'all, check this out. Y'all, I almost lost my life. It flies right before my eyes. So after I almost fell, I realized that I needed to take a break and I came back the next day I am taping three poster boards together and this will be the side panel of the bed where the lights will be. So I'm taping these three um, foam boards together and I will be adding these two body mirrors on top. One will go all the way to the top of it and one will go to the bottom. I wanted the top to have a little bit more shape so I'm going to take my marker and trace out that piece. After I'm done doing that, I'm going to take my box cutter and cut it out. Next, I'll be going over the sides with my mirror reflective paper and that is because the sides were showing a little bit and the mirrors did not cover the full board. After that, I'll be taking up my mirror reflective paper and covering the bottom piece that was showing also. Now I'll be attaching this board to the wall using my screws and I'm gonna put some screws in the bottom also. 
And now I'm gonna be attaching my mirrors, one up and one down. And I'll also be using screws to do that. Now I'll be taking these pieces of wood that I cut at Home Depot and I'll be creating the frame of my chandelier and I'll leave the links in the description box below. There's two ways you can create this frame um, the way I'm doing it now uh, which is just putting screws in each corner or you can use the L brackets um, and I also got the L brackets from Home Depot and you can see that DIY in the God is DIY project that I did. And and I'll leave that link in the description box below. Next, I'll be taking a strip of the mirror adhesive paper and I'll be covering the front and the sides of this frame. And I did use my box cutter to go along the sides to get all the extra paper off. Next, I'll be adding this crystal garland that I got from Home Depot and as you saw in my other video and I'll be gluing them to the frame, the inside frame and this will be on the front side of the lamp, not the back side but the front. So you can go in with the hot glue first and then you can go back over with uh, either E6000 or your hot glue again. And I'm putting uh, three garlands on each side of the lamp also. After both sides were done, I got my screws and I screwed the lamp in on top of the mirror. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the second um, lamp. Last but definitely not least, I'll be using four of these lights that came from uh, Walmart and they came with a remote. And I'll be using those as my lights for my lamps. And uh, one thing I realized is that um, one, one remote can control all four. So you don't necessarily need all four remotes. After I did this side of the bed, I completed the other side as well. And this is how it turned out. This project turned out so beautiful. I am just in love with this headboard. I did the gold the last time and this time I'm doing the silver. And I'm very pleased with the outcome. By the way, there is extra space on each side of the headboard and that's because she is thinking about getting a king and just in case she does, it will fit in perfectly. And this is officially my favorite headboard so far. Um, this headboard was made for Nana, so shout out to you and I hope you enjoy your room. And uh, thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I love you all so much and see you on the next DIY.